Mark Warburton, Skybet Championship Manager of the Month for November. How does that feel? No, it's it, it's not about individuals, you know, being myself or Andre this time. That's testament to the squad, yeah, and it really is. And uh, you, you look at the way they've responded. They came through October, and maybe didn't get the just rewards that their performances deserved. And to play in that level of consistency in this division, um, to perform week in week out, speaks volumes for their character and their quality. So it's a, any of these awards are always team awards. What sort of effort does it take to win five championship games in a row? It takes them to focus, and, and our approach as a group of, of players and staff is to pick them off one by one. And that really has to be it. There's no point planning ahead. There's no point talking about Ipswich on Boxing Day if you lose a three or four games in the meantime. So our only focus would always be the next game and putting the best team out for what we think or what we think is the best team for that particular fixture and just preparing everything for that game. You know, if you come to that, okay, we, we check everything injury wise, performance wise, and then pick the best, best team for the following game. But it really is one at a time. And as I say, for the players, it just speaks volumes for their focus, their concentration and as I say, their all-round ability. Uh, Andre Gray was a player who, to some regard, was a bit of a gamble in the summer, stepping up uh, a couple of divisions. I mean, how pleasing is it for you to see what he's doing at the moment? No, delighted for Andre. He, you know, testament again to, to, to Matthew and to Frank and the work they did in recruiting Andre. But he came in in Florida, he'd be the first to say that physically and technically he looked off the mark when he first came in. I'm sure he had a few doubts, but he's responded fantastically well. He's worked tirelessly, uh, gets some great with the group here. You know, he's, he's one of them now. And um, as I say, week in, week out, he looked a threat. He had that, that run, I think no, he hadn't scored in nine, which would have affected many, many strikers. And he got down, but the Derby goal changed that. But throughout that nine, goal, or nine game period, he never, he never lost focus, never stuck it in terms of work ethic, etc., and respond, taking responsibility. So we knew the goals would come. The Derby goal opened the floodgates, so to speak, and five in five is a tremendous achievement. Did you ever consider leaving him out? Nope. Nope. Uh, he, he works hard. He's raw, he's powerful, he's hungry, he's strong, he's aggressive, he's everything you want from a centre forward. He's leading the line, you know, he knows Nick and the guys are pushing him very, very hard. Nick's trained exceptionally well, but um, he had that ability to, to really pose defenders huge problems. You know, he's a physical presence on Andre and he's a real pain to play against, literally. So, for me, he's done exceptionally well and there's loads more to come from him. Do you believe in a manager of the month, Curtis? Absolutely not. No, it's, it's up to us to it's up to us to, to go about and get it. I think we won it last January or last December, and we had a good we had a good run through January and February. So it's up to us now. As I say, our only focus is Huddersfield, and if we dip and we don't focus, we'll get hurt. If we do what we do well, we'll be all right.